This is a short video on Hara Kumbhaka. Today we're going to show you two variations of this posture sequence. One for those with more open shoulders and good balance, and one with a few modifications for those with tighter shoulders and a little shakier balance. In both versions, you'll start with the hands on the Hara center where you continually draw them back, bringing attention to this energizing center. Rupali's version is first for those with more open shoulders and stronger balance. And you'll notice that her gaze is down the nose and she keeps a fixed gaze point to help with focus and with balance. This first pose is Virabhadrasana A, starting on the right foot, stepping forward, and then switching to the left foot, stepping forward. And keep this step length comfortable to you. We recommend a daily practice of five rounds for best results. Second pose is Goddess Pose. And you'll repeat these first two poses, Virabhadrasana and Goddess, on both sides of the body. We love Harakumbaka because it's a really effective focusing and energy building sequence that doesn't take much time or much space, which makes Harakumbaka a really great sequence to take with you when you travel. And the breath is the ujjayi breath or a strong exhale through a ha sound as you step into the pose. She's doing the ujjayi breath in this. Exhales into Utkatasana. Inhales up. And exhales hands to Hara Center. Now we'll go into another version where the feet are hip width apart at the beginning and end of each asana. The arms stay shoulder width or wider. The palms don't come together on this version. This might be a little bit easier for uh, balance challenged individuals like maybe some older students. This is a great version to use for them. And also for those that have tighter shoulders, you just modify the arm position. You notice I go into a V. As I go into goddess pose, instead of palms together. And if you're doing a daily practice of five rounds or more of Hara Kumbhaka, use the first couple of rounds as your warm up, taking shorter steps and not going quite as deep into the asanas. Once you feel the heat and energy building in the body, take longer steps and go a little deeper into the asanas if it feels good to you. And final pose again is Utkatasana. Fingers interlaced, palms press away. Important to remember not to bring the knees together if the feet are apart. They just track straight forward so your thighs stay parallel. Feet together, knees together on Rupali's version and feet hip width, knees hip width on this version. Namaste.